Hello and welcome to the Healing Streams Reflection. The title of today's post is Blessed Are You, O Intercessor. The blessedness of a life of intercession is echoed by the writer of the book of 2 Chronicles when he said, Then hear thou from the heavens their prayer and their supplication and maintain their cause. Second Chronicles 6.35 As much as sometimes our feelings of failure and personal problems make us felt far or separated from God, King Solomon stressed the fact that God stands ready to hear his people's intercession, to forgive their sins and to restore their relationship with them and with him. What a privilege as a steward of the grace of God to bring to God the state of the church or of individual souls, of the ministers of the word, or of his messengers, and even the current virus pandemic that is plaguing the world. What an unspeakable grace to be allowed to deal with God in intercession for the supply of others' needs. This is indeed the very life of heaven, the life of the Lord Jesus himself, and in his self-denying love, taking possession of me and urging me and you to yield ourselves wholly to bear the burden of souls before him and to plead that they may live. Brothers and sisters, let's pray for perishing souls that are going through this pandemic saga. Let's pray. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring all these souls that are perishing before you. And we are asking you for your intervention. Pour your message. Lord, pour your message on them. And cause the flow of your favor to rise upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, who is right unto thee? Merciful God you are. We call upon thee, O God. To stretch out your mighty hand upon your people who are crying unto thee, O God. Indeed, a God who can we give you all the honor, we give you all the praise, we worship you, and we bow to you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For his mercy. Brothers and sisters, the Lord to be able, or well, to be able to take part in Christ's great work as intercessor is such a blessing. It is a wonderful, or it is wonderful to be in close union with Jesus and to mingle your prayers and my prayers with his. What an honor to have power with God in heaven over souls and to obtain for them what they do not even know or think. Too long have we talked of prayer simply as a means for the supply of our own needs in life and service. May God help you and I to see what a place intercession takes in his divine counsel and his work for the kingdom. And may our hearts indeed feel that there is no honor or blessedness on earth at all equal to the unspeakable privilege of waiting upon God and bringing down from heaven and of opening the way on earth 
for the blessing he delights to give. What blessedness in union with other children of God to strive together in prayer until the victory is gained over difficulties here on earth or over the powers of darkness in high priests. Brothers and sisters, says, I believe that that is the more reason why Paul, the great missionary, the great preacher, the great apostle, we also importantly think of him as the intercessor. Because in labors more abundant, says Second Chronicles chapter 11, 23, zealously, he sought and obtained through his supplication and the power that rested upon all his other spiritual activities, able to bring down the blessing of God that rested on the churches that he served. It is not surprising that he wrote to the fishes, I bow my knees unto the Father, that he will grant you to be strengthened with might by my spirit. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 14 and 15. Think of what he even said to the church of Thessalonica. Night and day praying exceeding that we might prefer that which is lacking in your faith. To the end, he may strengthen your hearts so that you will be blameless and be holy in the presence of our God and Father. First Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10 and verse 13. And to the Romans, Paul echoed that without ceasing, I make mention of you always in my prayers. Romans 1, 9. What about the Philippians who specially and specifically supported Paul financially in his gospel missionary journeys? Paul says, always in every prayer of mine for you, all making requests with joy, Philippians 1, 4. And to the Colossians, Paul further said, we do not cease to pray for you. I will that ye knew what great conflict I have for you. Colossians 1, verse 9, and Colossians chapter 2, verse 1. Day and night, Paul cried to God in his intercession for them. He also did believe in the blessing that the united prayer will bring upon him, Paul, and his missionary crew. Now I beg you, brethren, through the Lord Jesus Christ and through the love of the Spirit that you strive together with me in prayers to God for me, Romans chapter 15, verse 30. God will deliver us from so great a death. See us, Paul. You also helping together in prayers for us. Praying for me that I may open up my mouth boldly. He wrote to the official church. This shall tend to my salvation through your prayers. Brothers and sisters, this is the time for us to pray for churches who are struggling in this pandemic problem. That seems to have a global effect on God's children and God's saints. Let's pray together. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Just name we pray.
Brothers and sisters in the Lord, the Apostle Paul showing us the whole relationship between a pastor and congregation depends on the united continual prayerfulness of the congregation. Their whole relationship to each other is a heavenly one. It's a spiritual and also divine and can only be maintained by unceasing prayer. It is when ministers and people become aware of waking up to the consciousness or become alert that the power and blessing of the Holy Spirit is waiting for the united and unceasing prayer that the church will begin to experience uncommon revival and awakening. Such intercession is the chief means appointed by God to bring the great redemption within the reach of all people's groups. Oh, my Father, the Most High God, let your life flow down to the earth and fill the hearts of your children. Lord Jesus, as you pour out your love in your season intercession in heaven, let it even be so with us your church on earth, a life of our flowing love and ever ending intercession that we pray with our whole hearts that your church militant may possess the gates of her enemies and captives set free. And let the saints say, Amen. Amen. Thanks for praying and interceding with us. Bye for now. Amen.